Landing on the moon is no simple task, as it demands a huge amount of precision. It's no coincidence that many countries have tried and failed, with only five nations succeeding throughout history. Recently, a private company achieved something similar when the Blue Ghost pulled off the extraordinary feat of touching down on the moon's northern hemisphere. In the process, it captured stunning images of a pristine landscape while kicking up a lot of dust. Today, in the world of space exploration, we'll take a closer look at how this landing was made possible. The Moon, our natural satellite and orbital companion, has one of the solar system's most intriguing origin stories. Geological signs suggest it formed around 4.5 billion years ago, when a Mars-sized object called Theia collided with the newly formed Earth. The impact flung a huge amount of material into space, which gradually came together to form the Moon we know today. Being relatively close to us, the Moon is much simpler to explore than other celestial bodies like Mars or Venus. Still, landing on it is a challenge. Unlike Earth, the Moon doesn't have a thick atmosphere for parachutes to slow a spacecraft, so all descent control relies on propulsion engines. Each speed adjustment must be handled with extreme care to avoid a destructive crash. Any calculation error could send the module slamming into the lunar surface at high speed, which has happened in several past missions. Another complicating factor is the lunar terrain. It's full of craters, rocks, and steep slopes, making the choice of a landing site a real puzzle. Unlike Earth, on the Moon, you have to carefully analyze images to find a reasonably flat area. Even then, the fine and loose lunar dust can cause extra problems. As the module nears the surface, its engines stir up huge clouds of dust, reducing visibility and even covering crucial sensors. To make things worse, Communication with Earth has a round-trip delay of just over two seconds, meaning many decisions have to be made ahead of time or handled by automated systems. All of this turns each lunar landing into a risky undertaking that calls for cutting-edge technology. In fact, landing on the Moon isn't a brand new concept. The first footage of this maneuver came from Apollo 11 in July 1969, when the lunar module detached from the spacecraft in orbit and began a controlled descent. As Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin slowly approached the surface, people back on Earth watched the most detailed images of the Moon ever recorded up to that point. Meanwhile, in the command module, Michael Collins was orbiting the Moon about 400,000 kilometers from Earth, becoming one of the first humans to travel so far. Despite the risks, the landing succeeded because the thrusters brought the speed down to just over one meter per second. Later missions refined this approach and improved image quality even further, as seen in Apollo 14, 15, 16, and 17. Apollo 14, for instance, captured striking views of the surface during its descent, showing the horizon and craters with clarity that was new for that era. It landed near the lunar equator, and the entire mission lasted nine days. More recently, we've seen an even more exciting update of moon landing images. I'm talking about the Blue Ghost mission by Firefly Aerospace, a private company that boldly landed in the Moon's northern hemisphere. After a few days of travel, Blue Ghost arrived at the Mare Crisium Basin on March 2, 2025. This volcanic region is roughly 480 kilometers wide. During the descent, the module gradually reduced engine power, breaking the stillness of the lunar horizon. As it approached the ground, a gray dust cloud rose in the vacuum, briefly hiding the landing spot from view. With no dense atmosphere like Earth's, this dust hovered around the module's legs, forming a kind of mist. As soon as the engines shut down, the silence returned, and the module's shadow stretched out clearly under the sun's intense light. From its spot on the lunar surface, the module has a prime view of Earth, which looks as if it's floating in the lunar sky. Geological formations extend across the horizon, with ridges and rises shaped by ancient volcanic activity and meteorite impacts. Sunlight highlights the terrain, making bright and shadowed areas stand out. Right after touchdown, the scientific and technical instruments on Blue Ghost got to work. At that moment, the distance to Earth was about 396,000 kilometers, showing the amazing reach of aerospace technology. Weighing a total of 94 kilograms, the module carried various sensors and experiments, such as HACK, which will study how lunar regolith sticks to different materials, vital information for future missions. Meanwhile, NGR sensors serve as targets for Earth-based lasers, allowing highly precise measurements of the distance between Earth and the Moon and improving our understanding of the Moon's interior. 
Lex is in charge of photographing how Earth's magnetosphere interacts with the solar wind, contributing to studies of near-Earth space conditions. At the same time, RAPC tests how a computing system handles intense lunar radiation, boosting safety for upcoming missions. Additional sensors also gather precise data on the Moon's environment. These landing images have become unforgettable in the history of space exploration, showing the Moon with details we haven't seen in decades. Every contour of this almost alien setting tells the story of a silent place, nearly untouched by humanity. A truly new area until now. This mission could have failed, as many others did before by crashing into the lunar surface. But by touching down at just a few meters per second, Blue Ghost made history and will continue probing the moon in ways only a few missions ever have. It's truly impressive to see all that dust flying upward while Earth appears in the lunar sky. An incredible sight, to say the least. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It's very important. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I invite you to click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.